How's it going everyone? In this video I'm going to show you how you can distort your text or designs using Displace in Photoshop. So first of all, have your design layer open up in Photoshop, right click the layer, convert to smart object. This will allow us to go ahead and apply effects to the text layer or your design layer and be able to go and adjust them in the future if we need to. Next we'll need a source image to use as the, as the displacement map. We'll open up a new layer in Photoshop the same size as your design layer. Here I have another 3840 by 2160 file open already. We're going to make something like this to then use to distort this layer here. So to make something like this we'll have a white background. You can go to layer, new fill layer, solid color. Next click B on the keyboard for brush. You can use the square bracket keys to adjust the size of your brush quickly or you can just go up to the brush tool and change the size here. We're going to be using a soft round brush for this one. Make sure that your foreground color down here is set to black. If not set it to black. Apply a few brush strokes. Add a layer, new fill layer, solid color. We're going to add around a medium gray, doesn't have to be exact. Then convert to smart object again, filter, noise, add noise, we'll add around 15%, make sure it's set to Gaussian and monochromatic, click OK. Next change the blend mode to soft light, now this will give us kind of a grainy airbrush look. Now what you want to do is save this as a PSD, to use the displace effect your file will have to be a PSD. You can use JPEGs or PNGs, but you have to open them in Photoshop and then resave them as a PSD. So we will save this file and then PSD. Now go back to your design layer. With your, with your design layer selected, go filter, distort, and then the top one, which will be displace. The scale here, is how much your design will be distorted. 10 is usually a good starting point. We'll have stretch to fit selected and then repeat edge pixels. Now click OK. It'll bring up a file dialog and you will select your layer we've just created. We'll open it up and here you'll see it'll start to distort our design according to that layer. Now let's say you have a image texture you'd like to distort your design with. We can save this as a PSD. Same, uh, same as the last one. And same steps to apply the displacement map filter. Distort, displace. We'll put 50-50. And here you'll see we'll distort the design according to the contrast of that file. If you're wanting to apply this design to that background, Command or Control A, Command or Control C, Command or Control V to paste. Put the layer below your design layer. Now just for this one I'll invert it quickly so it's white, so Control I to invert. And you'll see it starts to look a lot like it's on the plastic already. So let me know what other Photoshop effects or tutorials you'd like to see in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.